the perpendicular bisector of a segment. بهيدا الفيديو راح نشوف ال characteristics of the set of points belonging to the perpendicular bisector. If a point belongs to the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the extremities of the segment. So خلينا نشوف this practically. فإذا أنا هون في عندي the segment AB is 8 cm. I is the midpoint of the segment AB. فإذا I is the midpoint. بنشوف إنه ال AI is 4 cm. 1, 2, 3, 4. And IB also is 4 cm. So AI equal IB equal 4 cm since I is the midpoint of AB. And we have D is the perpendicular bisector of the segment AB. This red line is the perpendicular bisector. It's perpendicular and it passes through the midpoint I, so it's the perpendicular bisector. And we have a point C that belongs to the perpendicular bisector. And we have another point E that could be freely moved on or not on the perpendicular bisector. So for any hydrogen octane, we have to say that any point that belongs to the perpendicular bisector is equidistant, يعني at equal distance from the extremities of the segment. Mean and the extremities of the segment and the A and B. So C A and C B. should have the same length or C is at the same distance from A and B so as I'm going to see the AC is 6.4 cm and CB is 6.4 cm as I'm going to see the two points I'm going to see that they have the same distance at equal distance or equidistant I'm going to move the point C بهيدي الطريقة وبلاحظ انه 6.1 CA 6.1 and CB 6.1 كمان بعدها equidistant ليش؟ لأنه C still belongs to the perpendicular bisector كمان لاحظوا بهيدي الطريقة انه كيف ما عم نحرك هيدي ال point C دايما عم بيكون في عندي CA equal CB so بكل ال cases CA equal CB since C belongs to the perpendicular bisector so من قول انه C is equidistant from the extremities A and B so فإذا خلينا نلاحظ مختلف ال examples وعم نشوف انه دايما عم بتحافظ على the same distance from the extremities A and B okay for point C It's equidistant from the extremities A and B. خلينا نشوف هاي ال points E. لما تكون ال points E in the in the pink zone or region. هون في عندي 3.2 وعندي ال B and E B is 7.1. فإذا لما تكون points E خلينا نحركها بمختلف ال cases. فإذا عندي هون 5.3 8.1. إذا حطيناها هون عندي 5.3 5.8 فإذا دايما عم نلاحظ إنه E is closer to A أقرب إلى ال A يعني ال distance is smaller than the distance to B so كيف ما حركناها راح نلاحظ إنه the distance is closer to A E لما تكون موجودة ب ال pink zone is always closer to A أوكي إذا رحنا على ال blue region فإذا صار في عندي BE is 5.4 بينما ال EA is 6.1 so على يمين ال perpendicular bisector راح تصير ال E is closer to B أقرب لل B تمام خلينا نشوف كمان هون عندي 3.9 and EA is 8.2 فإذا كل ما عم نبعد عن ال perpendicular bisector عم بتزيد المسافة عن ال A وراح تضل E B أصغر من ال E A E B is 4.4 E A is 10.9 So in the blue region راح تكون ال E is closer to B than A راح 
تكون قريبة على ال B أكثر من ال A. So فإذا بال pink region راح تكون closer to A. بال blue region راح تكون closer to B. بس لما تكون على ال perpendicular bisector راح تكون at equal distance or equidistant from the extremities A and B. So فإذا in this video اختبرنا هاي ال characteristic of the point that belongs to the perpendicular bisector and it is equidistant from the extremities of this segment. And the second point here, if a point is equidistant from the extremities of a segment, then it belongs to the perpendicular bisector of this segment. هيدي الفكرة شو عم بتقول؟ احنا قبل قلنا إذا موجودة على ال perpendicular bisector يعني equidistant. هلا عم نقول إذا equidistant then it belongs to the perpendicular bisector. ومن خلال التجربة هون إذا أنا عندي point E free to move so لما يكون في عندي E is equidistant from A and B بنلاحظ إنه E belong to the perpendicular bisector. بينما in this case it's not equidistant and E does not belong to the perpendicular bisector. In this case, BE is smaller than or less than EA, so E does not belong to the perpendicular bisector. By now, we have 4.5, 4.5, so E is equidistant from the extremities A and B. So E belongs to the perpendicular bisector D of this of the segment AB. Faizan, لحد هون صرنا نعرف إنه any point belongs to the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the extremities A and B, and any point equidistant, so it belongs to the perpendicular bisector of the segment.